So yesterday we talked about how the feeling of youth is, in my opinion, the biggest selling point of idols as it pertains to men. So I think the best way to continue the conversation about why guys are into idols is by asking a lot of logic-based questions. So I think the first question has to be, do you believe that idols is only about sex? Or can there be something else to this fandom besides trying to market these young girls using their sex appeal? I obviously think that there's more to it than that, but I know some people aren't going to be able to see past for anything more. So if you're one of those people, I think the conversation will have to leave you here. Because if that's a barrier we can't get over, the discussion can go no further. So the next question I would ask is, do you believe there can be this separation within a male's mind between girls they want to sleep with and girls they don't want to sleep with? Can there be this distinction? Are they able to rationalize this in their mind? Or are they just some sort of mindless sex craving machine? That if they just suddenly see a girl in a bikini, there's no middle ground in between. They just want to end up sleeping with her. So I think this is an important distinction because, personally, from my own experience, I know that I have come across idols that I have no interest in either sexually or romantically. Now you can believe me or not, I'm not here to convince you. But if for a second you go along with what I say as true, so the question is then, how do I see these girls? How is that possible? Well here's something that I kind of discovered as I hit my 30s. You can be friends with women and not have it go down that path. Even with women you find attractive. When I was younger and in my 20s, I think I always had this relationship or bust mentality. That whenever I met a girl that I found attractive, I think I was narrow-sighted in that I thought, oh, I gotta ask her out then. Like there wasn't any other options. But now that I'm older and I understand myself better, I know what I'm looking for and I know what probably won't work. It's very easy for me to meet with a member of the opposite sex, maybe have lunch with him or see a movie, joke and laugh and maybe even flirt a little bit, but still know that this is something that I don't have to or want to pursue. Maybe because I don't think it'll work out or that I feel that we're not compatible or for whatever reason. So I still pursue the friendship because I enjoy their personality or maybe they make me laugh. Maybe we have common interests or we have good discussions and they give me good advice. I mean, it's good to have a female's perspective sometime, especially about other females. And that's kind of how I feel with idols now. I've always been a rather social person and I like going to talk to people and meet new people. If I lived in Japan, I would just love to go out on the street and go around meeting people. But that's not normal to do in Japan. Nor would I maybe feel comfortable doing that either. But I love going to these idol shows and enjoying the music and the atmosphere. And then after it's over, I love going and talking to these people. Getting a sense of their personality, practicing my Japanese, and just learning how to communicate. Again, you can choose to believe me or not, but this led me into another realization. What kind of other reasons could other fans be getting into this for? For example, do men have this nurturing aspect written in their DNA? So kind of in the same way that you find women are enamored with babies. They come across one and they stop in their tracks and have to interact with the baby or child in some way. Now typically men don't react the same way. I think there are reasons for that, but is there a situation that's maybe somewhat similar? Don't guys eventually get to a point where they start to have fatherly feelings? There's an episode of Fresh Off the Boat where Lewis the father, who has three sons, envisions a life where he had a daughter instead. This classic music plays as this montage runs of him dancing with his little girl and eating popcorn while watching a movie on the sofa. And then it goes to the scene where he's old and withered but is walking his daughter down the aisle as it is now her wedding day. And even though I'm not a father and I've never even been married, I saw that video and I was like, damn, that must be nice. That's what I want. I want my life to be that one day. I want to have a daughter and I want to have that kind of relationship with her. And so is it out of the realm of possibility that some of these male idol fans are just living out those fatherly feelings or big brother feelings through idols? It's funny that just as I finished this episode, which I started yesterday, a friend of mine linked me to a documentary which the BBC had just posted on their YouTube page, exactly talking about kind of this subject. So I'll leave the episode off here. I'm going to go watch that documentary. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go watch it if you want. And let's say we'll meet up afterwards. Be right back.